Hey everyone, Tim Clark here from Bitesight. I'm a filmmaker at Bitesight, and today I'm gonna show you really quickly how to get really cool 3D wireframe effects in After Effects. 3D wireframe effects in After Effects. Just a note that I'm gonna be using Element 3D, but that is not necessary for you to use that. You can use uh, just Cinema 4D, which ships with After Effects. So let's dive right in. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new composition here. We'll call it Comp1. I'm gonna create, uh, it's gonna go Command-Y to create a new solid that we can apply elements to. Again, this is where you would add in a Cinema 4D object. Um, I'm just gonna go into Elements and quickly create a cube and just rotate it so we get that 3D look. There we go. There's our 3D cube. And now here is where it all happens. It's gonna be really fast, so don't miss it. I'm gonna add in find edges, and also don't get scared away by whatever this is. I'll do another tutorial on what I'm using here to apply effects, but um, basically you would just be using you know, your effects uh, panel to get effects, but I'm doing it the quick way. So there is find edges, I'm gonna invert that. So that's, you know, that's 90% of the way there of the look that we're going for. But what happens if you want this to be transparent? Um, you'll see what I mean if I put a solid behind that. This black cube with the, you know, the white wireframe is not actually transparent. But there is another effect. This is a free effect put out by Red Giant called Unmalt. So I'll put that on there and you can see, see what that does. So Unmult effectively deletes anything that's black. Anything that is black in that layer becomes transparent. This is a very useful effect, at least it has been for me. It's one of those things where once you have it, you'll constantly be putting it to good use. But we're not quite done. If we want more control over the color, of course we could just add the fill effect in After Effects. Um, there's red, maybe you know green will look a bit better on blue. Um, and then furthermore, if we want to kind of amplify that a bit more, we could add um, a glow to that, maybe just to make that a bit thicker. That's basically it. So again, this is really simple. You know, these tutorials are really just to show you kind of how to get there, and that's basically it. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.